Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today is a podcast three, oh, yeah. third so, podcast. This is different because we're in Central Park. We're outside. We're not inside. We are gonna next podcast. We're gonna be inside, but just the situation that's going on right now. We don't have that much. Like I guess like we don't have that much. Like I guess like privacy to film in your yeah. crib. Like how we normally do, but like in two weeks is gonna change, right? Two weeks, right? Two weeks well, in the change. We're gonna go back to filming we're... the crib. Oh yeah. But by the time this video drops, we already started filming the crib again. But yeah, um, it's a podcast. So basically, you want to start with yours or mine? Yours. Mine, cause you're eating. Basically, all right. So we, I'm gonna talk about it real quick. Um, basically, we kind of talk about this in in another video, not in the pocket, not in the previous podcast, but we talked about this topic, and I forgot what video, right? I, I think it was in Among. It was I think it was towards the, the it was towards the end of an Among Us video, but it was like a couple months ago. I think two months ago or last month. So basically, YouTube YouTube couples have dogs, right? They own dogs, and there's a lot of it's, it's a lot of um, YouTube, like YouTube couples that have dogs. Like probably like 80, 90, 85 percent or ninety percent are like YouTube of uh, YouTube couples or dog owners. I think, right? I think, right? Yeah. You could say like eighty above eighty, whatever, yeah, like I eighty ninety. That. Like Carla and KB, they have two dogs. Um, Ace now Ace family, and they are a couple, but they are more a family because they have kids. Um, Brittany and Garrick, mm -hmm. him, they have they have dog, they have a couple dogs. Um, Juju and Des, Destiny. If you guys know, they they you guys know who's Julius and Destiny. Um, they have a dog. Yeah, what happened? So I'm just saying, like, and then it's funny how you have a dog, and it's crazy. It's just the ironic, the it's ironic. Like our dog now. It's crazy, yeah. yeah. It's just crazy. And if you guys can name other couples, likely chances they have a dog. But if they don't, then okay, they don't have a dog. But a lot of YouTube, the, our point is that a lot of YouTube couples do have a lot. They, they do, they do own dogs. If you're a YouTube couple, then most likely they own dogs. Yeah. But yeah, that's one thing I wanted to say. Is it's kind of interesting. Cause I feel like YouTube couples, like before they have, before they have kids, like if you, if if, if, if a YouTube, if a, if a like couple us? wants to have kids right in the future, they, it's like, is it me? But I feel like they start, off, they start off like, like obviously they, they have like a certain day they want to have kids, right? So let's say, for example, like um, KB and Carlo, like they don't have kids right now, like they don't have actual human kids, but they probably have like oh when they want to have kids, you know, they have a date, right? They have a date when they want to have kids, but I feel like every couples. It's like they want. It's like they start off. They start off with a pet. They start off with an animal. Like that's that's their kid. I think that's good. It's like the, it's like it's like they know they don't want to have human kids yet. The key word yet. I feel like but they start. Like, they start like, with an like animal. Like YouTube, but like people in general. Yeah, that's true. It starts out with them too. But I feel no. I'm just saying that. I feel like that's why a lot of YouTube YouTube couples oh. have dog. They own dogs because I mean, they use them as like oh parenting. You know what I'm saying? Like a like a like a practice. I mean, so that's why I think. Still young too. Yeah. A lot. Some of them, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like the amount to have kids like in your mid twenties or late yeah. twenties. Mm hmm But you wanna go next or you wanna you say you see yours. Um, but yeah, um The first one? My back keep thinking is the other phone. But yeah, so basically educations. Or you oh no, cyberbullying. Uh it's all of that for, for school. Okay. You could you could read it. That's your topic. Basically the topic is about school. Cyberbullying. I feel like the thing is that these teachers, um, not teachers in general, um, profess their basic like that and yeah. like the school lunch, the office, out there, the principal, they don't give a crap if they see like any student that getting started bullied because the thing is that we need to do something about this and change about this because there's a lot of people even to this day that know that it's still getting bullied. Yeah. And none of this grown as adults don't do nothing. I hate when they post, they post a post and they want like, oh, stop cyberbullying, this and that, but they don't do it. They just don't care. But let's say when it comes to doing like, falling asleep or your hoodie, they, they catch that attention. Like, I don't understand and I really hate that. Like, we should do something about this and talk about this because this thing is so serious because some yeah. students really like end up, you know, to themselves. I cannot mm. say the word. Yeah, I can't say the word. So that's something like a topic that something that we need to talk about. And change. Like, I'm pretty sure we have families and friends that 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 was bullying. Yeah. And people that are school that want, want. are still in school that probably still dealing with this, and this is not okay. I feel like yeah. they need to really like take this serious and see how 
like those type of students that go up to them, talk to them, they gotta listen to them because like mm -hmm. see mad video of these people like bullying these people and then other people just recording them and then laughing like this. Yeah. It's like some type of joke. Like no. And also about education. I feel like because like now no one care about school. All they wanna do is be mm -hmm. social media and be on the phone all day and not caring your crap about um being at school and stuff like that and now about the education and people want to drop out and that's it and be lazy not working and finishing what they gotta do and all that i feel like they should talk about that because that this is something important for all of us because like i said yeah you cannot work in mcdonald's without a high school diploma literally like you need a diploma really? for that yeah it's true i thought you could i thought you could no really? you can but I've seen, but well, things for me, I've I've seen like people that are like like let's say your sister's age that you could tell they're still in school. Well, I'm bugging. Mm, nah. I've seen teenagers working. Like I don't that, know, I think. Maybe um, most of the time you do need a degree or a diploma right. to right. work in the job that you want to work. I got a question. Okay, I have, uh, you're gonna uh, let me say something because this is is kind of like goes with yeah. that. Do you think? Do you think people could be successful? Without a diploma, but high school without a high school diploma. I mean, if they got the mindset yeah. of like you know yeah. being smart, then I think yeah. they could. But those people yeah. that cannot, that are struggling and yeah. stuff, that probably do need the high yeah. school diploma. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah, I feel like yeah, you have the mindset, you have the you have the work ethic. Yeah. That and you have like, like a, you have IQ a goal. Is like yeah. a, what's the high? Is like like a twenty. I don't know, but just have a high Q. So basically, yeah. you have like a you have a good work ethic and uh good knowledge, and also you have uh you have some connects that like you know people. I feel like you you could. You could be successful without a degree, but I don't recommend you dropping yeah, out. Like I don't. We don't recommend y'all yeah, yeah, dropping you out. Had to drop out, but I'm. We're not saying that like, oh, drop out because I'm thinking you could do better without a degree or a diploma. No, I feel like you should. Even you a mindset, you got more. I feel like you should need it just in case. Because mm -hmm. in this world, everyone should need a diploma because like how they will give you a job that they don't see you with any diploma paper or anything like that. Yeah. But yeah, also. One thing like school activity, I feel like they should add like more school activity because not everybody like the same activity. Some people get bored, like in gym, like you see how the girls be in the corner not doing nothing like that, while the boys just playing like baseball, soccer, yeah. balls, anything like that. I feel like they should like add more activity in school, like give it an upgrade in school. So, like things that are talk to your student what they like or what they want us to do to change up the school, any activity I like for us to see for y'all. Like, you know, have us settle down and talk, and then like, um. Also, like dropping out of school, I don't understand why people are dropping out of school, especially like they mainly do that when they like the junior or senior year. I'll be mean, like, yeah, I hate that. Like, I have so many friends and family that drop out, and I just look at them like, what is the what is they what is the point of you dropping out of school? Because this is my issue. Because like you were so close to literally finish the line or finish high school and then go to college and boom, that's it. Like yeah. I don't understand this thing. Is that like? People that are just too lazy, don't want to go to school, stay up all night, be on their phone, be watching TikTok and stuff like that. And I get it, school is boring, you know, it's depressing. I get it. I didn't like school, but I had enough choice to finish to get my diploma, you know, especially like in the future, I want to see life, you know. Also, one thing I hate fighting. Oh my god, why do people gotta be fighting? Like, bro, if y'all don't like each other, just pretend like the other person is not there. Like, why do we have to be solving problem by fighting and recording? And the thing is that teachers and professor or no prince, they don't stop it. Like, this is what I hate. Like, bro, we gotta do something. There's a lot of things that we gotta change in this school. Also, I don't know to say that word. Gun violence. You know how they say in the United States we have the biggest when it comes to school, gun shooting and all that. I don't know what's going on with the government. Why they not talking about this, doing us something about this. You don't see how many and principals and teachers are getting killed and the government don't give a crap about that. They really don't. Like, what do you think about that? Like, they should work, they should like do something for their safety because literally it's really not fair for all these people to that at a young age. Like school should be a place to be safe, especially right. like with your teacher and all that for you. You not need to be out here worrying about no, some teenager or some grown person that come into your building and start shooting out of nowhere. Like they should, the government should talk about this speak up because they really silent, not even care about crap about this. Like right. this should keep happening today because that's be seeing this and news and nothing be changing at all.
But yeah, that's all I gotta say. That's everything? Yep. From that point, from that? Yep. So you can delete that. Um, yeah, really. You want to talk your? Yeah, I'll do my topic. One, I'll be the one eat probably. Yeah. This is Bit. tomato, right? Yeah. Ew. You want that? No, good. Okay. We got some mayonnaise like or whatever white sauce. Um, VidCon. Do you know what's VidCon? VidCon. VidCon. Yeah. VidCon. V I D C O N. VidCon is basically. Do you know what's Comic Con? Like comic, you know what is that? A comic? Comic Con, like comic, like an event. It basically, Comic Con is an event. Event, big event, happens once. It happen, like happens, happens, happens three, year. happens four times a year. So, like on Thursday, Friday, Sunday, this is a Saturday, Sunday, those four days, like in October, it's a big comic event. Like it's a big event where they sell comic, they sell fungal pops, but VidCon. Mm -hmm. Is us YouTubers? VidCon is a big event that happens in LA. I think LA or San Diego. I'm not too sure. I think LA. It happens every year, once a year in the summer. I think August, September. I'll probably put it up here. The date, the exact month, whatever, or maybe they change the date. It happens once a year. I'm not sure how many days is it, but basically, is YouTubers like every like influencer YouTubers okay. being that event, mm -hmm. and people connect. People like exchange numbers to like you know make content or people make content in that event but a lot of things happen what? but vidcon i thought you heard about it before no? no so a lot of youtubers your favorite youtubers go to vidcon <laughs> most of them go but like not everyone's not gonna everyone. go but basically i do want to go there one day I yeah i want to i do want to go one like well i do want to go vidcon sometime in the future maybe not this so year like for like higher like no it could be any celebrity class? anyone anyone oh. no matter what race nothing no, no matter what race, like, no, no matter what status you are, no matter you started, no matter if you, yeah, you've been there, you no, like it doesn't you. matter. Is that what in LA? Yeah, I think so. Man, that's a problem. We gotta be. Yeah, right we gotta travel. Oh, uh, hopefully in the future, but not this year. Probably next probably year. In the future, like next yeah. year, I will say. Yeah, but that's something we we want to go. And I've been, bro, I've been, but I've I've been knew what Vicon was since like middle school. It's been there for a long time. They've been doing that for every year. So basically, I do want to attend one day and maybe meet one of my favorite influ influencer <laughs> growing up. You know what I'm saying? Because some of them do, did inspire me. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah, that's something I do want to go in the future. Ooh. But yeah, something that you want to go? What we do that? It's like an event. It's like an event. Like you take pictures, they sell stuff, meet with people, history of YouTube, stuff like that. Mm, but yeah, sounds, I want to go there. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. Oh, this? Mm -hmm. Go next. Oh, talk so whatever. my other to second topic is friends. So basically, you already know, with friends, it's always going to come with jealousy, mm -hmm. fake, talk behind your back, stress is over. Oh, also, what you could do. You got it? No. Mm -hmm. if you could, I have to call it cause just in case. You know, this is very squirrel. Mm -hmm. Take well, you could, it also, you can say, should you like to be dealing with it? With this, basically, the advice I could give you is like, how you see one blog. Focus, like block and delete them, like you know, um, social media. Blocking. Basically, yeah, that's the easy way to do. Like, why you even have, why you don't have them blocked? Yeah, I don't get that. So, so focus on your soul because I feel like that's what you need to do. One thing. And yeah, a lot of a lot of people. One thing a lot of people don't do. They don't. They don't. They don't better themselves, and also, people sometimes don't give them. They don't give. They like. They don't. Lo they don't know how to like spend time by themselves. Mm -hmm. I think I would say. That's what, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, you don't know how to spend time yourself focusing on Because, like, why are you worrying about this? Like, mm -hmm. they dump you or, like, you're not friend no more. You shouldn't be yeah. crying about this. You shouldn't be, like, basically focusing on yourself. Especially, like, find better friends that support you and adore you. And also, like, basically, this is how you could, like, face your challenge with fake friends. Oh, man. And, you know, just walk away with the situation. Because, like, I did with so many fake friends that talk behind my back. And they were jealousy, fake, and all that. And yeah, the only thing I did was just block them, ignore them, focus on myself, find better friends, new people that adore me, love me, and that's it. Because I don't need to be worrying about people like that that don't care about me, don't support me at all, do nothing but hate for no damn reason. But yeah, because if you don't like do that, it's gonna make the situation worse. So right. I feel like I feel like the main important is like block and mainly focus on yourself that's like the most top important up there you should do when you're like in a situation with people like that but yeah i think that's all yeah um so that's your part right yeah
Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I already said my part. Like I feel like people should like. I feel like it's good. It's, good. it's, it's also healthy if like certain person like if and I feel like it's healthy and it's good that if everyone like like you know you can spend time with your loved one whatever. Mm -hmm. But it's also good to spend time by yourself because that's good with mental health as well. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what, that's what I'm gonna say. I already said the other part, like when I yeah. the middle. Next thing, um, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm, I mean, right now, hopefully, you guys are watching this tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna say, like, a little scary theory. Oh my god. I forgot to say this in the other, in the second podcast, the last podcast we did, but I remember, like, I remember after, like, when I was editing that second podcast, I remember, I was like, yo, dang, there was something I forgot to say mm -hmm. in the podcast. But my, the scary theory, it's not a scary theory, it's just a scary Is story. It true? It's, it's true, it's legit with me. I told you this already. Oh, I told you a little bit. I Basically, I had an old friend, right? Oh, um, never mind. Um, old friend. Um, I don't know, I consider her as a best friend. Not that one, you think. Not that one. No, it's like one, someone that I grew up with, like little. Like her family knows my family. We know each other, we grew up together. Basically, I used to live, we used to live in the same building. You know, I lived in the fifth, fourth floor mm -hmm. and she lived in the first floor. I used to live in apartment 47. I can say that now because we, we've been moving out. But she used to live in the first floor. But basically, it was a scary theory. Basically, that one time I had a dream, like a legit dream of an old person. And apparently, I think I was, because we would normally hang out, me and her would link up, nothing like that. Just we were friends, we were kids. We would just hang out, stuff like that. We'd play around, whatever. She was a close friend of mine. And I saw her, I see her, I see her, I, I used to see her as a sister, but stuff happened that I'm not going to disclose that, but we don't talk no more. We don't have no contact, connect, whatever we have, we don't talk to each other. But basically, um, I saw her like a sister, you know, she was like my sister. And so basically, like almost every day I would go to her house in the summer, every day, right? Mm -hmm. So one time it was the dream. So basically the dream was basically, um, I had a dream of an old lady, right? And... I remember when I, I remember in that dream, it's like I had a I had another dream. So basically, I was it was two dreams. It was like I had, so basically I'm gonna tell I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna break it down. So basically, in the dream, I was dreaming about old lady, like like something like just like an old lady popped out of my head, and then I woke up, but I woke up in my dream. Like it was it was me waking up from another dream. Oh yeah, that's you know what I'm saying? Happened. Yeah. So basically, if you guys if it makes sense, it makes sense. But basically, it was like I had a dream, and then in my dream, I, I was I woke up from that whatever. So basically, I was going downstairs to like you know whatever link up with her, like you know hang out, you know watch whatever play around, whatever play play around, whatever play watch movies, whatever just chill as friends. So I was knocking her apartment to open the door. The, the same old lady opened the door, and I'm like, "Who was you?" And she was like, "Oh, um, mother." That was her grandmother. Oh, I'm not, I've never God. met her grandma. I've never met her grandma. I know. I don't know how she looked like at all. And then I knock the door. She opens. Um. And I see the lady. Whatever. I see the old lady. And I'm like, "Who is you?" And I ask for the ask for the person. Like, what time? Like, where? You know, where's her? Because I uh, I came for her. You know, we're friends. I know her. Whatever. And then she was like, "Oh, she's not home right now." Her, the grandma said she's not home right now. So I went back to my crib. And then I don't know where I woke up from my from I woke up from my actual dream, right? Oh, it was in your dream. Yeah, I woke up I woke up I woke up from my actual dream. I woke up so I was away as a person. And then the scary part you can have yeah. The scary part I told her I told that girl I told her that I was like, yo, you know some old lady that lives here or used to live here? She was like, No old lady no old lady lives here. And, but then I was like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just and then I described her. And she was like, That's my grandma. And then she was like, "How?" She was like, "How the fuck? How the fuck? You never met her." I was like, "Yeah, I never met her." And then she was like, "Oh, she's dead." And I'm like, "Whoa! I got. I, I had a dream of a ghost." Of her and that's the her, That's like she was like, "What the? I was being haunted." And you know what's funny? That 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 same the the same that same building. Multiple people died in that building, from either cancer or like a fire. People died in that building, so I, I feel like that building was haunted. Cause I would hear, cause when I used to go to my friend's house, I used to come, cause we live, cause I had multiple people that I, I knew multiple people in that building, right? And then I used to go to the house, and then I could, I could go home like twelve or one on the weekend, cause it's in different floor. I could just go quickly up, you know what I'm saying, or click down, whatever. So basically, whenever I used to go to my friend's house, like another friend's house in that building, and I used to go home like twelve or one, I used to go walk, take the elevator or some I used to walk the stairs or whatever and i would hear noises like echoes 
Like, oh, I would have echoes. Know, that apartment was haunted. No, that part, the building, you mean. The building. It was haunted. The apartment, all that. Okay. Yeah, it was haunted. And people, mm -hmm. most people died there. But yeah, that's a scary theory that I haven't really barely told people this. Bro, I had a scary theory, theory but not with people, like with movies. I don't know why. Like, it, it's like it comes in real life into me. How? No, for real. Especially with the killer doll. Oh my god. What killer doll? Chucky. You wanna explain? Bro, it would. So basically, it's in the same building. Where the one you live right now? In the, you know, I used to live in the first Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I used to live in the first. You see the same building? Like died? It? Yeah. Oh. And I say, you see the same building? I just live in the first I used to live in the first floor. I just had mad dream about him. Bro. I told you, remember this one time I told you that he came to my, oh my god. He came to my apartment, then my grandma got a machete and then killed him. Oh my god, oh my god. Not even, bro. Bro, I couldn't even barely sleep, bro. I couldn't even sleep. And I thought one time I actually did saw him in real life. Like, he was staring at me right there. Ready to literally, like, kill me. Damn. That's the only one my sister was terrified of him. I was terrified of him too, but not anymore. But with person, I, still, I don't think I have a dream about it yet. I used to have dreaming like in your sleep where you falling from the sky. Like, I don't know what happened to you. Oh my god. Or a roller coaster. I woke up from that one time. Or a roller coaster. No, mainly it was from the sky for me. I woke up from that many times. And you I, move. I thought, you know how many yeah. times I moved? Like, that just happened out of nowhere. But yeah. Yeah. Um, you, yours. I think this, this is basically my last topic because it's my fourth one. So, human relationship. Mm hmm. You know what right? Human relationship. Like Yeah. So basically it's like me and legacy, like you know how we a couple. And yeah. basically we had to have trust in there. Um yeah. communication. Yeah. Communication. <laughs> communication skill, fun, um, adventure, Ooh, respect, equality, safety, loyalty. Basically it's like balance in your relationship, give room for the both partners to play their part well and be freely related with the partner where I'll be over well you get what I mean right mm -hmm. because I feel like that's a lot of this couple like I feel like they don't do that because I see many couples just break up for the dumbest thing or be assuming thing or they, they don't be in the same place in the same page right there and they just break up immediately I just do that yeah I was on the same page they said right like you see how many likes on the same page like even likes to tell me many times if you argue let's not break or the dumbest thing like Ooh. it's really argument it's not like one of us are like like not cheating each other and then like not being on the way. like you need to have all that in the relationship especially if you're gonna get in a relationship or you're in a relationship because we have been together for already four years almost one month four, four years yeah four years and one month almost basically next month but yeah i feel like that's what i gotta say because like I feel like, I don't know, a lot of people are still dealing with this to this day. Yeah. Even like when you see your own parents. <laughs> Damn. No cap. But I feel like that's that's my opinion when it comes to the human relationship. I don't know what you got to say. But yeah. I mean, relationship does, it comes a lot. Like, people, it, it's, there's a lot of things involved. Oh, yeah, if you want to you wanna, if you want, if you want to have a good relationship you know, with, a, with a, your partner. Hey, what are you oh, my bad. If you want to have a good relationship with your partner, it comes not the it, it's a lot of things you gotta you gotta you know you gotta like follow but it's not hard like you gotta obviously you gotta be trustworthy you gotta trust the perfect partner they gotta trust you vice versa be loyal they gotta be loyal um co um communicate um everything like basically everything you guys yeah, can think of right you can think of yeah but a lot of couples do break up over stupid stuff Especially when you're a YouTuber couple, that'd be the worst. What do you mean? Because there's a lot used to because like I said, I watched mm -hmm. a little um I don't even remember um Ken and Derry. What's her name? Larry? Um I they were two um black um couple influencer, yeah. Influencer YouTuber. Like there was a man there's a lot of couple like Chris and Queen. Like oh, yeah. yeah. Like, mm -hmm. there's a lot of used to couple that I Chris watched. and Queen. I used to, I, I didn't really watch them. I used to watch a little bit of videos. Mm -hmm. But Chris and Queen apparently every like a lot of like young people like us mm -hmm. so, i mean not, not me but like let's say let's you could say you could like we could safely say say that let's say other young people right like teenagers at that time watching them they wanted to be like they wanted something like that yeah. but look what happened they broke up and a lot of people say they cheated 
they tie your thing like due to couple right, like yeah, that yeah. thing every couple related and i'm like and yeah. I told her, I said, when we, oh, awesome see, yeah, yeah, keep talking, I'm gonna say something. I said, like, you see how, I told her, you see, oh, you see how we're a couple and we got to come on YouTube. Yeah. I don't want people to think like we're the same, like every other couples, and like that. Especially like they think like we're gonna probably break up. I'm gonna then, say something. Yeah, like, yeah. not have her YouTube no more together because I cannot imagine doing that shit. Like, nah. Yeah. I was, I, that's why I see a lot of old couples I used to watch. They break up yeah. because someone cheated. Stay away from us. Baltimore. It's a Baltimore bird right now. Yeah. But well, you can say it. You can add it, add it to what I have to say. That, that, that. Um, what do you want? Okay. You want this? No. <laughs> you want to eat this, right? No. You want to open it? I can open it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I bought him this. Oh, yeah, I love those. They're one of my favorite candy. I think it probably is mine. I bought him two of them. Yeah, I love it. You can open it. Yeah, but you can um, talk what you guys say. A lot of, a lot of you, a lot of people, like, like, subscribers, viewers, like, some, a lot of them, they be thinking, like, Oh, they be thinking. They be think a lot of a lot of YouTube couples are only together for the money, like you know, hands. Well, I told you, like, like someone. I ain't gonna say. I'm gonna say it. But, but so, I basically, say like, if this is like a business couple or like, yeah, actually love. I mean, like, you're not doing this for business. Cause keep like, it. Think about it. We've been before we started YouTube. We was together for three years last year, right? Three years. Before we planned it. It's not like we started late recently. We started making the channel. I feel like that's a red flag. Like no offense, people have their opinion, but I'm saying my opinion. If if you're a couple and let's say you start dating, right? A couple months, right? You start dating that and you just, and you start doing a YouTube channel with your you know the part your partner, I feel like that's too soon you should just wait a little bit, you know, because what if you guys don't work out and then you have a channel together and you always, and you already have a fan base? What's gonna happen? If you have a fan base and you're doing good and they break up, my, I, I guess make your own channel to keep the fan base. Yeah, I think some of them did but, their own yeah. channel after that, but it's just kind of, right, I agree with him because hopefully you guys should wait at least like two or three years like me, like you see. That's a girl. And then, two or three years, then I feel like that's, that's when you decide to make your own channel. And yeah, and then make money out of it, make business working together, you know? But we need to understand, this is not just like, we're only like partner and business, we also like, we need to remind each other we're also we're, like a couple. We are a couple. Cause like, yeah. not cutting up in a bad turn as well. And then that's what, that could lead into a breakup as well. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. This is my talk, my talk that's all, I don't know what you see how much But yeah, this is good too. Fire. <laughs> yeah, we're eating, this is our picnic too. So y'all yeah. gonna see. This might be called a mukbang instead of a podcast, but we, well, we probably just name it podcast. We, we are eating. We could put like you could put like podcast yeah, mukbang. Mukbang. Yeah. Squirrel. But basically, now it's getting chilly, right? Kind of for me. Good but ba yeah, basically, um, you know, um, like whenever we, me and her, hang out, we make a video. You know, we plan something. We we make a video because Maybe you know, for yeah, it's a vlog. You know what I'm saying? I guess because sometimes a lot of subscribers. They want to see what a what a you know, what a couple does, you know, you know when it's together. Yeah. And a vlog, a vlog perfectly describes that, like what we do when we're together. Like we make a vlog out of it. That's why every that's why you guys see a lot of vlogs. Even without the vlog, this is what we still do. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like even even without the camera. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Without the yeah. camera, we still do the same thing. Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah. Oh my god, um, my This is one thing that I gotta tell you. I told you this already. But we want to talk about the camera. I had a problem because so basically, shout out to um Brittany and Garrick. So basically, it was, it was, it was, the, the couple that I engaged. Yeah. yeah. So they had they posted a YouTube short, and then Brittany she's Hispanic. <laughs> it's confirmed, but we don't know what Puerto Rican probably. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Garrick, he's not. I, I forget where he's from, but he's not. He's not Hispanic. So basically, I know the video is funny. I, I know the video was like done purposely to like. He basically Garrick mispronounced tahin. Tahin is a Mexican spice. Um, he said it. He, he said it. He mis he he mis he mis said it, right? Brittany and then Brittany um properly said it. She's Hispanic. So I said something, but I didn't really. And I said you something. Man, the video, okay. We we like correct them, like oh, I, I will correct like you would not get offended, but no, you would tell them, oh, yeah, it's tortones. I'd be like, oh, I'd be like, oh, I mean no, you said it's, it's tortones. Yeah. Tortones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's tortones. My bad. Right? Yeah. Tostones, yeah. Tostones. Yeah, I'll be like, no, it's but you, like, you I'll be like, this is yeah. how. This is how you say it. Yeah, I'm a I correct them in a nice way. It's yeah. 
Totones. Totones, yeah. Yeah, I tell them you, like that. Yeah, you don't get offended. You just want to correct them. Because when you learn a new language, one thing they always teach you, like Spanish, French, how to... How and to the, teach, the, teacher, the teachers are there to make you say it rightly so you won't That's sound stupid. That's why you have English class, Spanish class. Yeah. Oh, hell no. Okay, someone supposedly... Uh, squirrel. Supposedly... It's not gonna come, right? You sure? So, no, it's not. <laughs> supposedly someone in the video was saying that it that I, that I was sensitive about the comp like whatever him miss garrick mispronouncing the word but there's nothing but sensitive nothing, nothing about sensitivity when I saw the it's just out of respect yeah and if someone's on a if, if i'm i'm french i'm french and, and and they say something in french i want them to say it properly or because I speak two languages, Spanish and English. I speak three a little and, bit. And I, little, I speak to, a little bit French. I, I'm trying to, yeah, I'm, that's my second, little third bit. language I'm trying to speak. Third mm -hmm. French. And I have a friend, you know who, he yeah. speaks French. And he be like helping me how to correct it, how to yeah. say it. And he say it, like he don't say it like, like he's like finding offense. He say it like in a nice way, yeah. like this is how you say it in French. Mm -hmm. Because like, because I only speak Spanish and English. And I second, like, the third one I'm trying to speak French. Especially French is hard, you know. It is hard. So, kind like, of, yeah, it is kind of hard. Know, why the people in the comments trying to tag my boyfriend trying to say like why you and i show you too i know and i comment too and i'm like bro you need to it's nothing about sensitive it's about knowing how to say properly and respect like if someone if someone let's say your culture right this is someone that's not hispanic or especially like or when not you Dominican, to someone else's culture yeah you're gonna respect someone's culture like make sure understand so you don't go to other culture yeah. another country you gotta like to understand to see how they do it differently yeah. than here in america how they say it how they do it they pronounce it what they do how they dress what they eat yeah. and the religion like i hate when people be like yeah so they're sensitive no yeah, baby they be saying it's not that it's showing respect if it's out like, of respect it's out of respect like if someone's mis like let's say i'm mexican american obviously you guys know that but she's dominican american but i'm gonna talk about my part um, if someone mispronounces, like, like let's say a Mexican dish, Mexican something about Mexican, like sing or whatever, I will correct them out of respect. I'm not sensitive, like we're not offended by it. Just no. correctly say it, because if we said, like I say, someone says a word in French, you're like, hey, and they're like, what are you trying to say? They they are gonna say, what are you trying to say? Yeah, because like, like I said, my my friend who's French, he goes, he's trying to speak Spanish, right? And he be telling me, oh, how you pronounce this, how you pronounce right. that, and I telling him how you pronounce this in spanish and right. he'd be like oh, okay i understand now and thank you he said it many times to to get it yeah. right and i'd be like yeah it sounds better now you right. know so like those people that comment the, i'm being sure they don't be sensitive because my boyfriend was not being sensitive with yeah. him you were just giving his opinion i mean i wasn't mad about it i didn't care about the comments i was not mad when i saw i just be like you're stupid yeah, yeah. Like she just correcting him how to pronounce it, how to say it properly, how you say yeah. this. Because some people don't look at you like, I don't understand what he's saying. Can you tell me what he's right. saying to me? Because some people are not gonna understand what you're talking about. Yeah. They're gonna look at you like, huh? Like, yeah. So the last think, thing, yeah. the last last thing is the video. one that people are gonna. The one like, you told me today. Yeah, that's the one I'm saying. Oh yeah, guys. So today, big I say, I say, yes. A big announcement. Breaking news. So basically. Someone contacted me. That's all. <laughs> and then, oh, well, I contacted them, and they agreed. They actually, I actually contacted them for something Perfect. else, and they came up with an idea yeah. to work with us mm -hmm. in the collab. That's all we're gonna say. It will drop soon. The collab will drop soon. We are gonna go through with it. We're not but it's collab. You know, That's we're it. It's a collab, but it'll be funny. And then. You guys wanna watch in the, you guys wanna watch us in our first skit, like a first acting. That's a that's a theater class as well. For one year, two years. Aww. But yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna see us acting. A doggy, I mean. Yeah. Get the dog. Oh shit, dog. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the dog is out here like yo. You see the, you see the dog? Yeah. Press the gas. <laughs> I think but yeah. Around there. yeah, it's right there. Leash. Oh, right yeah. There. But yeah, guys. Um yeah, collab is coming soon. Collab is coming soon. <laughs> And yeah, special guys. <laughs> so the collab, is, the collab is coming soon. No. So the collab, the collab is coming soon. We're not gonna say who we're gonna collab with, no. but we are gonna collab with someone. Our first collab with someone. Yeah. So yeah. So. Yeah. Hey, come. You know, which is luck. The first collab. But yeah, big things are coming. Our channel is growing. I'm so excited. Subscribers is growing. Keep keep subscribing to us. We on the road to 3K. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for the podcast. Hopefully you like it. Us filming outside. This might be our first and last time, or we might do another one if you guys like yeah. it or rocking with it. 
But I mean, our second one did so good. Yeah, I'm player so podcast. Proud. But yeah, and, but we're gonna probably go back to filming indoors. Yeah. But if you guys are liking, I film outdoors, like make a podcast outside. outdoors. We could do it for you guys, for anything you guys. for you guys. But just letting you guys know. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, I'm subscribe, surprised. share the video, turn post notifications. Especially turn post notifications because yeah. when that video drops the clap, you guys are gonna be like, what? But yeah, see you guys in the next video. Yeah, bye. bye.